guys, how goes life? Let me tell you about what happened to me this morning. So, th well, nothing really happened. It's just like my experience on the A train. So I was, I took the A train to work. I've hated taking the A train since I was a teenager. And it's all because when I was a teenager, I was going with my cousins out to Far Rockaway. And um, this dude, random guy, just like came to everyone in the car and shoved his hand in your face and was like, give me a quarter. And when nobody gave him a quarter, he went to the next cart. But like all of a sudden, everyone from the back cars was just like running towards my cart. So we were all like, oh my gosh, what happened? What happened? He was like, he has a knife. He has a knife. And then someone pulled the emergency brake. The next thing you know, the DTs and the cops everywhere. It was a mess. Cluster animal crackers <laughs> so i've hated taking the a train since then right but then i got this job and i've been taking the a train because it goes express so it gets me to where i need to go three minutes faster than my local train so if it comes i'll take it so this morning i get on the a train because it was the first train to come and as soon as the doors closed and we were about to pull out of the station some dude falls on the floor apparently he was asleep in his seat and when the train jerked he just fell that was a lot. So then, after him, like, this other random dude, now, we at, now we're at, like, Canal Street, right? So we're clo we just closed the doors at Canal Street. I have one more stop. And mind you, it was going express. So closes the door, and this big, tall dude is like, oh, you know, I want to sit down. I'm really tired. Mind you, the train is practically empty. There's plenty of seats. You can sit down and shut up. But I'm just going to sit down in these orange and yellow chairs because they're always orange and yellow. And he's just going on and on and on and being just really, he's a lot. He's a lot. So the lady who was sitting behind him, she like tells the guy who's sitting next to her, you know, I got to get up because she's feeling uncomfortable. And I'm looking around like if he decides he wants to pull something out of his jacket and try to take us all out, who can jump him? What can we do as a unit to put a stop to him before he goes off before my stop comes? Because I, I don't want I don't want to get hurt. I don't want to die. I don't want to be a casualty of crazy MTA bombing people. That's not what I want to do. That's not on my list of things to ever do. So every time I get on a train and something shady or sketchy happens, I just happen to always just look around to see who can take this guy out. Who can jump on him? Who's not going to get that hurt if they happen to just attack him because he's trying to attack us? So I'm looking around. I had a handful of people. And, like, where I was standing, if the guy started shooting, I could have just ducked down and, like, hit behind him, which is really cowardly. Oh, but I'm 4'11". I'm Dude, oh, my gosh. Okay, so that was the that was the A-Trace. Speaking of being 4'11", I went to the doctor recently because I had the flu. I'm feeling much better. I'm still a little sick, but I'm better than I was. Like, I was, it was so bad that I couldn't even walk or stand or, like, it was horrible. But I went to the doctor, right? And you know how, like, they take your stats and they weigh you? I am 155 pounds. I am 4 feet 11 inches. I am too little to be 155 pounds. It's like, whoa, is that why my back hurts so much? I'm carrying so much weight in my midsection. <sighs> That's a shabby. <laughs> it's great to talk to you guys again i'm gonna try to post more videos it's like i've been really like i said i've been really sick i've been really tired really lazy honestly lack of sleep or what have you so it's just like eh, I, I don't i don't have it in me to post sometimes but i am i am trying and i'm going to be back with a vengeance happy happy joy joy but until then have a good night guys